Well, howdy folks, how y'all is? Sure, I'm glad you can see me today. I'm glad to see y'all today. Anyway, I'm out shopping. I had to pick up a couple of things. I had to get some uh, Marsala wine at the liquor store uh, for a dish I'm doing tomorrow for a party. So uh, I'm out shopping. I'm in the parking lot of Red Lobster. I wish I could go in there, but I ain't got time to go in there. So I stopped next door to the Red Lobster at the uh, Chick-fil-A. So uh, let's see what Chick-fil-A has to offer. I just got a sandwich. I don't do fries and all that stuff, but uh, let's check it out. Now, now, today. We do this one-handed? Oh, yeah, we can. Ta-da! The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original. And what makes Chick-fil-A so popular, so good? Golden brown, fried to perfection. I'm doing a whole series on fried foods right now, so uh, after this month, there'll be no more fried stuff for a long while, but I know you guys like the fried stuff. So when I was in high school, 16, I was working at uh, Spencer's Gifts in the mall, and the mall had a Chick-fil-A in it. And uh, I really liked Chick-fil-A back then. It was uh, reasonably priced and a good product. And even to this day, you know, when they have all the standalone restaurants, they're, uh, the way they do business is the right way to do a business. They are very uh, efficient. Uh, they keep prices down. That was five twenty-nine with tax for that sandwich. Just a pretty decent price, I think. And um, they're quick. It's always consistent. And, um, you know, that's what stands Chick-fil-A apart from a lot of the other chain places. Uh, the menu's pretty simple. You can get chicken or you can get chicken. And um, they train their staff well. And uh, one of the things I really like about the way they do things is you're only allowed to own two Chick-fil-A's. If you franchise them, that's the max. So you can't get somebody, you know, somebody that's renegade and wants to go out and buy you know, like Burger King or something, they can go buy 50 Burger Kings and then completely destroy a whole region's Burger Kings or whatever. Chick-fil-A is different, they won't let you do that. And I think that helps. So the sandwich is pretty basic. Fried chicken breast, pickles, and a toasted bun. And I put, uh, I like to put mayonnaise, a little bit of mayonnaise, like a half pack and a half pack of uh, the barbecue sauce on mine. So yeah, it's good, it's consistent. I mean, this day in fast food, you find something that's consistent. That's a rarity. Well, alrighty, guys, that was pretty, pretty good. For a chicken sandwich, it's still the best one out there. Anyway, uh, I know there's been a lot of controversy over the years with Chick-fil-A. Um, Non-believers upset. They're not open on Sunday. You know what? <clears throat> when I was a kid, we had blue laws down here in the south and everything was closed on Sunday and I like that I love that because you know when you're a kid working at a you know a restaurant fast food place or grocery store or whatever it was closed on Sunday you got to spend time with your family and that's awesome and you know mom and dad would be there because everybody's off on Sunday it was your family day whether you're a believer or non-believer just good to have family time I think that's something missing in the in the country today but anyway <clears throat> then you know people say oh they're too far right then they changed up some stuff oh they're too far left you know what I don't give a flying shit about any of that because I just want a chicken sandwich and I know that they're closed on Sunday so I go on Saturday or another day of the week you know who cares uh, too many people put politics in everything these days and it's just chicken it's a chicken sandwich it's nothing more or nothing less now the guy that took my order was very flamboyant you know i could care less what he does with batusta shoots in his own time he took my order he did a good job that's it all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you folks next time